Hey, Kevin Thomas back here again with Level 10 Real Estate Group, powered by Keller Williams, Coastal Area Partners, with some more frequently asked questions. And the question I get asked uh, frequently is about homeowners associations, or as you all would uh, affectionately refer to as the HOA. And a lot of times I get clients that say, Kevin, I refuse to be in a homeowners association. You have to find me a house that's not in one or I'm not purchasing it. And my question to them is, why don't you want to be in a homeowners association? And I usually get the response because I don't want anyone telling me what to do. Well, the challenge with not being in the homeowners associations are a couple of things. One, if the house has been built in the last 20 years, chances are it's going to be in some type of homeowners association or the HOA, uh, especially if the home is in a community that has amenities you will definitely have an HOA to contend with. But the question is this, what is it that you want to do that you don't think the HOA is going to let you do? Is it that you want to work on your cars in the front yard? Is it that you want to paint your house pink? Is it that you don't want to cut your grass? Because those are the typical things that come up with HOA issues where they they come around and they police the outside uh, visibility of your home. The one thing the HOA does do is it protects your home value. Imagine this. You just built uh, bought a beautiful $300,000 house and your neighbor next door to you just painted their house pink because there was no HOA or no covenants or restrictions that, that prevented that. Now, three years later, you want to sell your house and no one wants to buy it because of the pink house next door or because your neighbor is a shade tree mechanic and is running a, a auto body or auto repair facility out of his front yard. And it looks like Sanford and Son, uh, Sanford and Son's junkyard. That's what the HOA protects you from. It protects you from. First of all, having to deal with that issue of a neighbor doing that. And second of all, from you having to police it. Imagine if you had to go knock on your door, on the door of your neighbor and say, uh, can you repaint your house? Can you uh, get all the junk cars out of the yard? Uh, because it's an eyesore to me. If you have an HOA, you report it to them, they make that happen. Another thing is that you know, the HOA does is it, you go into the neighborhood knowing what the rules and restrictions are in that neighborhood. So before you say that you don't want to live in an HOA, my uh, thing that I tell my clients is let's get a copy of the rules and restrictions. Let's read through them and see if it's something that you can't live with. And if it's not something you can't live with, then by all means, don't close the door to a home that's in an HOA because it might likely be the right house for you. Another thing to consider, homes that are not in HOAs still may have covenants and restrictions from uh, the neighborhood that's enforced by the city or county. And then the county or the city may also have restrictions of what can happen at your house and on your property. So just by not being an HOA does not preclude you from ever having to deal with someone coming and policing things that uh, that are that's happening uh, in your neighborhood. So the, the deal is this. People that typically don't want to live in an HOA, most of them have never lived in the HOA. They have family and friends that have, and they, and they have complained to the point where now uh, my clients are saying they don't want to be in one because of that. It could be that the neighborhood that they lived in was, was a highly restricted HOA, where you couldn't do a lot of things or because the person that it was getting beat up on a lot uh, just broke the rules all the time. So before you make the decision not to have, not to live in a home with an HOA or homeowners association, think about why, why would you not want to be there? Have you had personal knowledge of the homeowners association uh, being mean to you? And if not, don't close the door to it because chances are, that house could be in the right neighborhood for you. And the Homeowners Association could be the best thing uh, to protect the value of your home going forward. This is Kevin Thomas with Level 10 Real Estate Group, powered by Keller Williams, Coastal Area Partners, servicing the Savannah, Georgia area. Give us a call at 912-980-6153. That's 912-980-6153. Or check us out online at level10realestategroup.com.